Following Operation Sindor, India launched tri-service exercise Trishul from November 3rd to 7th, involving 30,000-plus personnel, 20 to 25 naval assets, 40-plus IAF aircraft, and key army formations across Rajasthan, Gujarat, and the North Arabian Sea. The drill tested joint fires, ISR, cyber and counter drone warfare, and interagency coordination with Coast Guard and BSF. Linked to the Army's decade of transformation, Trishul underscores India's push for jointness, Atmanur Barda, and integrated warfighting readiness. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited will unveil a new R&D manual in New Delhi today. In the presence of Defense Minister Rajnath Singh, to enhance innovation and reduce bureaucratic delays. Backed by rupees 17,000 crore in internal R&D funds, the manual marks a shift toward agile, risk-driven design in line with global aerospace standards. The move aligns with the Ministry of Defense's Year of Reforms 2025, focusing on Atmanurbar Bharat, exports, and next-gen aerospace self-reliance. With squadron strength down to 30 and legacy jets nearing retirement, the IAF faces a dual deficit, fighters and full-spectrum electronic warfare aircraft. As Tejas MK-1A deliveries ramp up and Rafaeli follow-ons await mod approval, DRDO's Netra MK-1A and MK-2A WNC platforms are being upgraded into multi-role EW enablers. Equipped with gallium nitride-based AESA radars, electronic support measures or electronic countermeasure suites, and 9-hour loiter capability, these Netras could bridge India's missing growler gap by 2028. In a major leap for India's unmanned warfare capabilities, DRDO has unveiled its Swarm Loitering Munition UAV, a VTOL-capable, reusable drone swarm integrating ISR, precision strike, and autonomous coordination. Designed for high-altitude and maritime missions, each UAV carries an 8 kg warhead, operates up to 150 to 200 km, and can swarm in radio-frequency silent formations. With successful autonomous VTOL and formation trials, the system promises to revolutionize tactical strikes and battlefield ISR under India's Atmanurbar Bharat initiative. The Indian Air Force is set to equip its Mirage 2000H fighters with the indigenous Rudram 2 air-to-surface missile, giving the legacy jets a vital standoff precision strike capability. Developed by DRDO, the turbojet-powered Rudram 2 can target radars and SAM sites over 200 kilometers away, bolstering India's suppression of enemy air defenses doctrine. Integration trials begin in early 2025, with full operational clearance expected by mid-2026, extending the Mirage fleet's frontline relevance. Bharat Electronics Limited has revealed three cutting-edge radar variants and two command centers. Under DRDO's Project Kusha, India's extended range air defense system worth over rupees 40,000 crore. Designed to counter drones, stealth jets and hypersonics, the network will integrate seamlessly with Akash, MR SAM, and S-400 systems. Featuring gallium nitride-powered AESA radars, AI-driven command centers and open architecture interoperability, prototype trials begin in 2026, positioning Kusha as the backbone of India's future multi-layered air defense grid. As U.S. trade tensions with China, Russia, and Turkey disrupt defense markets, India's LCA Tejas has emerged as a neutral low-cost fighter attracting interest from Argentina, the Philippines, Nigeria, and Egypt. Yet, how slow production, reliance on GE engines, and dependence on foreign ejection seats risk stalling exports worth rupees 50,000 crore by 2030. Revival of the Kaveri engine and indigenous 00 seats could unlock true autonomy, and India's ascent as a top-tier arms exporter. In a major boost for India's private defense manufacturing PLR systems, a subsidiary of Adani Defense and Aerospace 
has become the sole qualified vendor in the NSG's rupees 50 crore tender for 1,000 indigenous 7.62 by 39 mm assault rifles. The bullpup configured rifle outperformed rivals from SSS Defense and IRRPL in exhaustive live fire and endurance trials at Mainsar. With 100% indigenous content and scalable production, the wind cements Adani's growing dominance in small arms and CQB weapon systems under Atmaner Barbaret. The Indian Air Force's Su-30 MKI fleet is receiving a major boost with DRDO's new Yoda and Anadra electronic warfare suites designed to shield the aircraft from modern air defense threats. Yoda offers AI-driven jamming and countermeasures, while Anadra uses advanced gallium nitride modules for high-power, wide-band jamming. Together, they provide active and passive protection, transforming the Su-30 MKI into a stealthier Super Sukhoi. Integrated with upgrades like AESA radar, SDR communications, and EO targeting, the systems now in final trials are expected to enter service by late 2026, boosting IAF's electronic dominance. India achieved a major milestone in its nuclear deterrence program as DRDO successfully conducted a static test of the K-5 submarine launch ballistic missiles Stage 2 rocket motor at Nashik on September 12, 2025. The 10-ton motor, built with advanced carbon fiber composites and a high-efficiency finisil propellant design, delivered flawless performance and data alignment with simulations. Developed under the Arihant class SLBM program, the test validates India's growing expertise in solid propulsion and composite engineering, paving the way for 50-ton class motors and extending India's sea-based strike range beyond 5,000 kilometers under the Atmanurbar Bharat initiative. That's all for today. Hope you liked this video. Please like, share and subscribe for daily news updates. Thanks for watching.